we're mid-warp jump right now. I already finished translating Magnus Tombs a while ago, and the staff is refusing to allow him to help with the paperwork since the Dark Eldar thing. It's night cycle on this deck right now, but I can't sleep. I've taken to exploring the ship. Lego's by my side, of course. We pass by a few menials here and there. They're used to me by now. We just nod at each other and keep to ourselves. I found another mural. It has a scene from some historic event nobody remembers. It has some spire shimmering with light, people cheering and a person held up by the crowd. This was made while the ship was unfinished by the timestamp, and the Grey Citadel is Dark Age of Technology make. While I look at this mural, I am reminded of how much was actually lost. I sit at a bench and just enjoy the view. My mind wanders a bit until someone calls for my attention. It's Jagatai. Anon, it's a bit late for you to be sightseeing. Yeah, it is. Couldn't sleep, though. He just nods and sits on the ground across from the bench. After a bit of silence, he speaks again. What troubles you, Anon? I'm just overwhelmed. I feel so useless. He gives me a weird look. You seem to have been doing fine, from my understanding. Fulgrim and I know you're hiding something from us. We heard talk of how Magnus reacted to whatever it is you told him. What would weigh on both of you so much? Fishing for answers? Yeah, he says with a bit of a heavy sigh. Fine, get Fulgrim. He should be informed as well. Meet me in my suite. As I walk back, I feel a strange rush of purpose. I think of what will help me explain what I will tell to the two Primarchs. As I get back, I'm strangely greeted by Sava. Why is she in my suite this late? Did you need something, Sava? I was hoping to talk with you privately. But you weren't here, so I waited for you. Oh, I'm sorry for being out. I couldn't sleep. Went for a walk. Lord Anon, I... She pauses, but just stops. Sava, I kind of have an important meeting about to happen. Jagatai and Fulgrim will be here soon. Our talks will be top secret. Can this wait till morning? She shakes her head. That's fine. I'll talk to you later. She seems down. I stop her and smile. I'm not blowing you off, Sava. I really will make time in the morning. I'm free right after breakfast. That seems to lift their spirits. I go to prep my chalkboard and wait for my guest. I've got some knowledge to bestow and minds to blow. Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled out the hard liquor. It would be needed. I had a shot glass for me and a tankard for the brothers. Legos let them both in. We got settled. Alright, what do you guys want to know first? Wait a second. I put the soul stones I still had in the lead box. I don't know if they could listen to me, but I'm not risking that. Sorry. Feel free to ask what you want. Fulgrim seems to lock on to me with intensity. I rarely saw that from him. You've been withholding secrets from us. What are you hiding? You're going to have to narrow it down a bit. He gives me an eye roll. The can just huffs. I am a reincarnate from roughly the start of M3. Now they both just look confused. Then the can looks at me harshly. Is this a joke? No, I'm dead serious. Fulgrim looks at me like I'm mad. The can just looks more confused. Hi. I don't actually know. Emps referred to my soul as a trick candle. I shrug. That isn't even the big stuff. Pretty boy finally speaks up. Are you a sorcerer? Nah, I'm pretty much a normal human. Besides a few details. Such as... I have a ton of forbidden knowledge and Emps boosted my soul. You still have your eyes though. I'm not an astropath or even a tree psyker. Malkador said I'm bare over baseline. Fulgrim goes quiet. He seems deep in thought. Jagatai asks me a bit about Terra in my old time. I told them about my homeland, the United States, how Earth was at the time. Fulgrim asked how often I had been reborn. This is my second life, sorry to disappoint you. If you want a summary of each age of man, ask your father. He's been there since, well, before my first go. How do you know about this forbidden knowledge, if you're from M3? Did ancient man really have such insight? No. We were just starting to properly explore Saul. Very few people had even left Earth at all. The moon had only been visited a few times and no man had yet reached Mars. We also had no proof of Psyker or reason to think they could exist. So how would you have such knowledge then? Pass. You can't just pass. You promised us answers. Jagatai seemed pissed. Look, it's really confusing and dumb and will only cause harm if I told you. It's best we skipped it. Fulgrim clearly takes that as a challenge. Try me. I just give him a tired look. It really isn't worth it, ma'am. It will just distract you from any important stuff. The can seems resigned, if annoyed. He gives me a sigh to continue. Most of my lore is regarding M40, though. The start of M42. It is... really bad. Things were kind of fucked up. Both were caught off guard by that. Fulgrim speaks up. 
Did the Imperium fall? He has a dark expression. No. The Imperium endured it. It had just regressed and had been twisted by the greatest civil war in mankind's history. How could that happen? Half the legions and the Primarchs turned on the Emperor, with many supporting them. Fulgrim stands. Then we must end those traitors before they can strike. He speaks with such conviction. But my face must have said everything. His shoulders slump, and he just goes cold. Jagatai pulls him back to his seat. The Khan gives me a look, clearly wanting more. I stare at Fulgrim. You were corrupted by a demon blade. You were little more than a meat puppet by the end of the war. A tool of she who thirsts. I went on to explain the heresy. I tried to stress that what happened was a severed timeline. One where I never met the Emperor. That the future was ours to make. It was a heavy night. They also drank most of my booze. I sent both off with a bottle for the trip. I had told both they would learn more when we met with Big E. I was woken up by my alarm, some five hours later for the start of my day. I showered and put on some basic robes. I had a breakfast meeting with a few officers. I was introverted by nature, but my role demanded me to step up. I made every effort to reach out to my officers. Afterwards, I contacted Sava to let her know I was free. As I waited for her to arrive, I drank a herbal drink to help keep me awake. It tasted like mud water, but worked like a charm. I could have done recaf, but I hated the stuff more. I went to sit down and read a while, but I waited. She was here in less than two minutes, but her quarters are on a different deck. I answered the door and was confused. Sava was wearing a trench coat of all things. She usually wore a traditional maid outfit, not the fetish wear, or more casual outfits when off work. <laughs> <laughs> I let her in. I offered her a seat, but she remained standing. So I asked her what she wanted to talk about. She looked at me weirdly for a moment and was about to speak when Razitz barged in. Anon, we need you at... He stops, seeing Sava glaring at him. Never mind, we can handle it. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Are you sure? You never barge in unless it's serious. I speak up. No, no, we got this. I forget I even came by. Razit then give us a thumbs up and leaves post haste. What the fuck was that? Sava seems pissed. Razit knows something. Yeah. Razit knows exactly what's going on. Hey guys, this is just a quick bit of promo. We got our website up and running and we have a massive restock on most of the models. However, one of the cool things about the website is if there's a model that you're waiting on, you can enter your email and be put on a waiting list. And it's not just good for you so then you'll know when they're restocked. We can also see what you guys are waiting on and what we should be printing. <laughs> so either way, the models are f by far the best way to support this channel and to help us do videos that YouTube would find inappropriate on the platform. <laughs> And, like, let's be serious, the models are pretty based looking, so, once again, just look at the titties. Look at the lizard titties! <laughs> but anyway, let's continue on with the video. I offer her a drink to help calm her down. She downs her glass and asks for another. I pour and gesture her to continue. She tells me that she really appreciates everything I have done for her, and that she wants to thank me for it. I tell her all I did was give her a new job after my dumbass got her fired. Helping her brother was part of making up for that and she's been a great help for me. She tells me it still meant a lot to her. Then she pulls out a weird metal tube with a bulb on the end. It flashed green when she hits a button. Legos isn't here, is he? What? He's oh, pulled right. out a fucking, like, mine thing from Men in Black. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is this? I'm taken aback by the question. No, I assumed you wanted to talk one-on-one. -on -one. Thanks for that. It makes this easier. I turn to put the drink away, only to feel two intense burning pains in my back. I hit the ground hard. I look up to see Sava wearing a body glove and holding a las pistol. Her trench coat is on the ground. For whatever it's worth. I am sorry and all. I really did like you. She started crying and saying more but I couldn't hear or anything. She then raised the las pistol again and everything went dark. If Ooh. she breathes, she's a thought! <laughs> I had to add that bit in, sorry guys. <laughs> I revived with a fury. Salva was looking through my records for something. I must have revived pretty quick. Once I'm up, I throw the drink bottle at her and rush her. The bottle hits her in the back and staggers her. I then knock her down with a punch to the side of her head. Once she's down, I kick the last pistol out of reach. Then I hit her and kick her to her side to stun her as she goes for her last pistol. Don't move, Salva, or I will shoot. She's just crying, but I ignore that and hit my vox for security while never dropping my guard. Uh, uh how are, you, how are you alive? I killed you. I checked for a pulse. You don't get to ask questions, traitor. I will be taking care of that. Soon a squad of sunny dogs and razzits burst in. 
Razat sees me holding Salva at gunpoint. He fierce palms. We took Salva to a holding cell. She begged us to send someone to secure her brother, saying he was going to be killed since she failed. I was going to have him arrested anyway, so rushed the team to pick them up. They find him being jumped by some menials and ratings. They killed two of his attackers and captured the other six. The brother was being sent to Medbay. Once I informed Salva of the failed attack, she started talking. Told us that when she was a dancer, she also did hits for some gangers on the side to help pay for her brother's medical bills. Well, a pretty face likely made it easier to get into your targets. Told me that she was honestly happy as my mate and that she was threatened into doing this. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't buying them until this was properly investigated. I asked about the other mate, who I didn't hear much from other than work assignments. Sava claims she was just a widow that danced at the club to support her kids. We had her detained, just in case. As we questioned her further, we heard shots being fired. I'm glad I had time to get in my armour before coming to the brig. I put on my armour and distracted the attackers while my solar started butchering the fucks. One menial tried to rush me. I didn't waste ammo and just caved his ribs in with my power armour punch with my left hand, while still firing at those seeking cover with my bolt pistol. I then crushed his head with my boot and yelled, Surrender now or be thrown overboard to the warp. No surrender. No surrender. No one's going to understand that. I'm sorry, guys. No one's going to understand that. Keep going, keep going. Several did. The rest were either killed or captured and I followed through with those. I was not in the mood for mercy right now. After the attack, Sava sung like a bird. She claimed she doesn't know why they wanted me dead but gave us names of the group that forced her to take a hit on me. I wasn't buying shit. If she thought her brother and her were in danger, why not just tell me? I had taken them into my household. I wouldn't have left them out to dry. I wasn't going to fall for shit after she fucking shot me. I was going to keep her locked up until Emps or Magnus could look around her mind. Until then, we had a list of names to look into. I sat in the meeting discussing what we learned about the group that wanted me dead. It turns out the people that did this was an emperor worshipping cult. It was really fucking dumb. They honestly thought I was some spooky evil mastermind and I led the emperor and his sons astray for my own increase in power. Bitch, I was drafted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of sweet. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, the cult was being purged from the fleet. We had known about this cult for a while, but they were considered harmless and retards by most. When we captured the leaders, they even ranted about how I would never get away with my evil plans. I would have them handed over to the Big E to deal with. We still had both maids under lockdown, though only Sava was in a cell. Her brother was under guard in the med bay. Once he recovered, he would be under house arrest. The other maid was released after a thousand sons checked her mind. Sava's brother died due to his wounds and weak health. I'm allowing Sava to attend a small service for him. He by all accounts seemed innocent, so he earned that. But Sava would be watched and under heavy guard. She broke after and snapped. She had to be restrained after she tried to hang herself with a ripped up jumpsuit. I had her guards punished for not properly watching her and placed her under Astartes guards. I was drinking with Razitz when we felt the ship leave the warp. We both got ready to meet the Emps again. He should be waiting for us. Emps and Magnus were busy when we boarded. We had to wait a bit for them to greet us. We heard you had an attempt on your life. No, pretty sure I died. Not really an attempt at that point. <laughs> <laughs> well, quickly, I suppose. I will search her mind personally. We must be sure about her motives. On a more positive topic, it's good to see you again, Anon. You've done well. I did my best. It shows. Emp then walks by to board the Grey Citadel. I turn to Magnus and smile. I got those tombs translated for you. It includes my notes as well. Great news. I have several more if you have time. He calls for some menials and they start loading well over 20 crates of books. Looks like I'm going to be busy. Well, guys, that's the end of this thread. However, we're in luck. We would have been just finished, all the threads. But the guy, there's actual thread. The guy Yee, the minute, so there's there another one. So don't worry about that. But I really want to ask you guys, what do you guys think about him telling the two Primarchs? Because I think this is going to backfire on him. I don't know if... I know, I know the whole idea of like you know withholding information caused the heresy originally, but I think it's going to end up like kind of like a butterfly effect. Yeah, I, because they didn't, you know, turn the way they were meant to. Yeah, they're, maybe it's going to different ways. It's going to turn a different way. Yeah, but they're still going to mm. um, fall. Maybe the whole heresy—it's going to be heresy too. 
you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's just a different form of it. Also, do you think, like, you know, this cult that claims to be worshipped an emperor, do you think maybe they're, like, some world barter sort of related thing? Or are they maybe, like, a cut-off cult? Like, you mm-hmm. know, a, a cell of maybe, like, the Elf Legion or something? Like, there's a lot to work with here, and I'm really looking forward to what happens next, yeah. because it is actually genuinely interesting Well, they have to be, because if you think about it, how could a couple of, couple of menials get the slave to mm. get the maid to try and kill him? Yeah, I think they're probably going they to support somewhere else bigger support behind yeah. them to be able bet you it's McDonald bet you <laughs> I would love it I would love it to be McDonald <laughs> but I feel like if I said it was McDonald I'd be you know oh, that's the obvious one almost you know anyway look guys um, sorry about the wait it was just Megan was ill and like you know we met well we went and got tested this morning so we're waiting for the results to come back tomorrow we've got the a actual big big or a cuff. Cuff. but like I'm pretty sure we just got weak cuff. Yeah. but anyway anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this one the next part won't be as long of a wait sorry about that we've just had like you know things stuff, going th- on things have been going on and like I hope you all guys are doing well and we'll see you guys later bye